This video will demonstrate how to install and configure an Unleashed network in the standard AP mode using the Unleashed Release 200.5 mobile app. As a note, I'm recording this on an Android device, and in the upper left-hand corner you'll see a green arrow. That is actually not part of the app, that's the software that I'm using to record on my Android. So what we're going to do is a typical installation, and it's the most commonly deployed configuration for Unleashed. So I'm going to press on Typical Installation. And it says, turn on your AP and wait for a few minutes. Set your mobile Wi-Fi to configure me in the last hex digits of the access point. So let's go to my settings to make sure that I'm connected to that network. And I have configure.me. And it's the last six hex digits of the AP. So I'm going to connect to that. It is now connected. So I'm going to go back to my mobile app. And it says that setting up Unleashed. Great, you are connected to Unleashed Factory Wi-Fi. Let's start and set up your network. So I'll press Start. And this brings me to a three-step menu, Configuring Unleashed. Step one is the Master IP Assignment. It's automatic DHCP. And it says by default, the Master AP's IP Assignment is automatic. To change it to manual or static, I could click on Edit. I'm not going to do that. Another option is Mesh. Well, I want Mesh enabled on my network, so I'm going to turn that one on. And it says that this enables one AP to connect to another AP wirelessly for network expansion. So I'll press Next. Step 2 is the wireless name. It's called Ruckus Unleashed by default. And I'll change that name to Awani Studio. Alright, I've got Awani Studio. I'm going to put in a wireless LAN password that is recommended. Since this is a demo, I'm going to use a very simple one. And to make sure that it is what I think it is, if I press on the eyeball, you'll see that I have eight twos in a row here for my password. Very sophisticated password. Country where the AP is located, by default it's US. Well, I happen to be in the US, so I'll leave that and I'll press on next. This takes me to step three. And this is my administration configuration. So it says to put in an admin username. And I'm going to put in admin. And then I'm going to give myself a password. And to verify the password, I'll press on the eyeball just to make sure it is what I think it is. It says the admin username and password will be used to manage Unleash after setup. All right, done that. Click Next. This is my review menu. So it gives me the name of my wireless LAN that I'm setting up, Awani Studio. And to manage your network login to the dashboard, it has my username and it has the password. Well, let's make sure that the password is what I think it is. So that's the case. So I'll turn that off. And now I'm going to press on Finish. And it's going to go ahead and do the configuration. Now, it says it's configuring Unleashed. Customization in process. This process is going to take about three and a half to four minutes. So what I'm going to do at this point in time is to pause the recording and then come back and pick it up after this process is completed. And after about three and a half to four minutes, you're going to come back with a menu that says, Congratulations, your Unleashed network is ready to use. And it says to reconnect to Awani Studio. As a note, after you get this menu, wait about another 60 to 90 seconds for that SSID to show up. So let's go back to my SSID list. And there we have it. Awani Studio has just showed up. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to that. So it shows me as connected. So I'll go back to my mobile app. Now the dot has turned blue. So I'm not going to run a speed test. I'm going to manage the network. So I will press on Manage Network. It asks me, do you want to remotely manage this network? Well, I'm not going to do that now. This is an option that we can set up later, so I'm going to skip it. And this brings me now to the main dashboard menu. And from now on, just plug in and boot up other unleashed access points for auto-discovery and provisioning for your network expansion.